Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can save your gradients into swatches panel so you can use them later across multiple projects or even programs because they will be compatible between Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. This is like universal format so if you save it once you can use it across the software family. Alright, so here I am in Affinity Designer. As you can see, I already prepared six different metallic gradients. By the way, you can grab those metallic gradients completely free. I will drop the link to download in the description. So feel free to grab that and add to your asset library. All right. So how did I save all of that? As you can see, I start by making little squares and then I fill them with gradients. So let's try to recreate this process, all right? I will just grab a simple rectangle tool. I draw a rectangle. By default, it will be filled with solid color, right? Something like that. And we want to use a gradient tool on it. All right, so we got some basic gradient and now we can open this gradient from the top here to get this detail pop-up window where we can adjust the exact color of the gradient so from here we can adjust the color by the way you can switch between sliders and also the color wheel from here as well so if you prefer to work with the color wheel it's available here as well all right so we set you set up this color at the beginning you set up the color at the end of the gradient and then you can simply click on the line and set some additional colors. The thing for like metallic gradient is they, are, they should imitate highly reflective surface. So you don't need to be afraid about putting like bright color next to dark one. That's actually what you should do. So we imitating those reflections on the gradient. Not too much saturation. All right, I can add a little bit of noise if you plan to use them only in in Affinity software that's not a problem all right and with gradient like this and now we are ready to save this gradient as a swatch so next to the color panel you should see your swatches and here I would suggest you to create a new palette so you have blank palette by default you will be probably in colors gradients all right so by default there will be some colors here like that what you want to do is you want to create a new palette so you can add application palette you can name it this will be totally empty and if you select the object like this shape we draw and fill with gradient you'll be able to click here add current fill to the palette in this way, you will save a gradient. Next time, when you draw some another object, let's say you draw a star. Let's say you draw this star in pink color. All right. You draw a star. You want to apply the same gradient. You can just click from here. And ta-da, it's here. And you can, of course, use the gradient tool to adjust, make some adjustment to it as well without messing up the original gradient. All right, so that's how you can use swatches to save and load your gradients quickly. All right, and as I mentioned, I already prepared a set for you, so you can check out this metallic set I create. There are six different swatches inside, and let's try them out. Let's try them out on something so i will just draw something here little heart shape okay and there are six different metallic like gradients for you to grab so the link to the free assets is in the description you can download those gradients for free and if you skip any other assets from other tutorials, you don't need to search for them <laughs> in all the videos I posted. You can just see all of those free assets from here as well. So you can catch up if you miss any of those free bundle assets with tutorials. All right, guys, 
Thank you for today. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.